Hey everybody, I hope you're doing good. I wanted to cover something that's been going on for the past few days that many of you have already heard about, which is the volcano and earthquakes in the Canary Islands in La Palma, um, Cumbre Viejo, Vieja. Um, so basically we have, we've had a series of earthquakes starting at 9-11, which I think is very interesting. And it's been at continual increase. We've had from that time till now, 6,632 earthquakes. Now, many of them were smaller, like two range, but today there was a 3.8 magnitude at 1016 UTC time. And the depth was uh, two kilometers. So, um, and then today there was 327 just today. And that was earlier today. There's probably been more since then. Uh, so basically, you know, there's reports that if this, uh, if this island continues to have larger earthquakes, that it could cause a landslide. And over 100 miles wide piece of land would fall into the ocean. And they're saying it could create, would create a, at least a hundred foot tsunami that would destroy the East coast, cover Florida underground. And of course, other areas of the Atlantic ocean would be affected. All the shores would be affected by it and it would be tremendous. And the fact that there was one volcano, the first one earlier this morning, but since then that one was small and it wasn't near the shore. It wasn't, it wouldn't have caused a landslide. Um, but since then, seven vents have opened up. And so it's really starting to grow and the earthquakes are getting bigger. So it's something you really need to keep an eye on because it has the potential to be extremely devastating. And, you know, if you live in those areas, I would definitely keep your eye on the news. And, um, you know, many people over the years have seen visions of, the uh, Statue of Liberty underwater. And of course, I also saw the Statue of Liberty back in 94 when I heard and saw other images related to the rapture of the church. So this, if this happened, it would, it would probably be such a huge, colossal, cat catastrophic, huge disaster that it could, it could definitely be at the time when the Lord would would harpazo his people because of the you know the the magnitude of the thing if it were to happen now um and it could it might not and it could uh they've been watching it for years though and they've always said that it one day probably will happen so I wanted to give you that um because we're such a high rapture watch right now entering into the Feast of Tabernacles, uh, one of God's Moed divine appointments um, on the in Israel and on the Torah calendar. And so uh, Jesus Christ, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the Son of God, one with the Father, God sent his only begotten Son, that whomsoever would believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Can you, do you believe in him today? Because he's the only hope. With this kind of uh, thing that could ha take place in days, it could. It literally could. And God's been, if it's going to, you can see the warnings are going out right now about it. He did, he didn't. He's not going to just suddenly do it. I mean, we, you've got since 9-11 all of this evidence that something could kick off here. And so... Um, so the Bible says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Admitting you're a sinner and, uh, and he'll, he'll cleanse you and wash you of all sin by his blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. If you can come to him and you would believe in him today because he loves you and he loves, he loves his creation and he wants, he wants us all to be reconciled to him. And he's the only way to the Father, the only way to get saved. 
So I wanted to give you that uh, update on this uh, volcano, volcano activity and earthquakes. Um, it's, it's very alarming. And uh, so, you know, keep your eye on it. If you live in that area, I would just, I would pray. The most important thing is to get saved because Jesus Christ will uh, protect his people, however he chooses to do it. If, and we need to stand on the word of God. And um, so, um, so that's it for today. I might show a clip at the end of this. I'm not sure, but um, God bless you all. Take care and I will talk to you later.